at 105.9 FM at WBBMPeter20.com. Good Sunday afternoon. I'm Lisa Fielding. Here are the top stories on News Radio WBBM. Chicago's Pride Parade had a glorious start, then a frustrating finish because of severe weather, which has knocked out power and delayed flight. We'll have all the live reports from Accuate. Mayor Lori Lightfoot and Governor Pritzker signed an executive order to help trans students. Pride also celebrated across the country and around the world. And a Wisconsin man pleads guilty to illegally shipping guns to an Australian weapons dealer. This is George Hoffman. Cubs trail the Reds 8 3 in the ninth, and the Sox and Twins delayed by Rangers 6. Sox leading 2 0. We've got thunderstorms moving through the area. Well, here for 72 degrees. Uh, AccuWeather is our top story. A beautiful day for Chicago's Pride Parade until it was washed away with severe weather. The parade was stopped, then called off as parade attendees were advised to take shelter. More than 11,000 homes and businesses in Cook County are now without electricity. More than 14,000 in DuPage County. Also delays at the airports and across the country because of Chicago's weather. Let's go live now to AccuWeather meteorologist Dave Bowers for the very latest. Yeah, and that is that uh, the worst of it is over in the immediate Chicago area. This uh, cluster of uh, extremely heavy thunderstorms has now raced off to our south. Uh, areas that are still getting hit hard at this moment, uh, Beecher, Grand Park, uh, down to, we'll say, Hopkins Park, and uh, continuing uh, southwestward from there, uh, Crescent City, and uh, continue to move off to the south. So warnings have been lowered anywhere further north. Uh, in fact, the thunderstorms are pretty much over. We're still getting some rain falling in the immediate Chicago area, but the threat of severe weather is over. As a matter of fact, the watch is getting uh, canceled county by county as well. Uh, so we'll get a bit of a, a wall here. Uh, this rain is going to stop, and then uh, the atmosphere will essentially reload. Uh, we can see another uh, heavy to perhaps severe thunderstorm as we go through the nighttime hours. Temperatures will be around 71. Tomorrow, it's, a, it's an early morning shower storm in spot. Otherwise, a partly sunny, hot, humid day with a high near 90 degrees, and not much different Tuesday right through Friday. Right now we have 74 uh, actually at Lakefront, uh, 74 at Midway, 72 at O'Hare. I'm Acu Weather Beauty Mile to save hours on uh, Chicago's weather station, News Radio 780 and 105.9 FM. Before the severe weather shut down the parade, Governor Pritzker and Mayor Lightfoot signed an executive order to assure schools statewide have tools to affirm and include the clues for John transgender, non-binary, and gender non-conforming students. Mayor Lightfoot is Chicago's first openly gay mayor. It's showing that in this city, trans individuals have the same access and the same opportunity as everyone else. The task force will may be made up of 25 people appointed by Pritzker. They'll study what schools are doing to promote LGBTQ rights to make sure students have welcoming and inclusive environments. Their report is due in January. Meantime, rainbow flag waving and the floats are on the move as New York's World Pride Parade March is underway.